Welcome to Mastermind. I've started, so I'll finish. Today's contestant is an esteemed historian, Simon Webb of Loughton. Simon's specialist subjects will be World War II history and the history of South America and the Caribbean. Let's look at Simon's claims about some issues in those, uh, relating to that. Simon claimed when asked about David Lammy, in his constituency, many people assume that Lammy's family's origins lie in the Caribbean. But in fact, his people are parents are from South America specifically. This is partly true. It's also an example of something that's true for a given value of truth. They're from Guyana, formerly a Dutch colony. Britain did not acquire the territory until after the British abolition of the slave trade. And so whatever the situation with Lamy's ancestors, it had nothing at all to do with any British involvement in the slave trade. Again, this is true for a given value of truth, as we'll see in a minute. Let's look at British Guyana. Here's British Guyana. British Guyana was a British colony, part of the mainland British West Indies, which resides on the northern coast of South America. Yes, it is in South America. But let's do a text search, shall we, here? Let's move that, and let's search for the word Caribbean in here. And see what we get. We might get some interesting stuff. Because this island is generally considered to be part of the Caribbean. In 1938, the West India Royal Commission was appointed to investigate the economic and social condition of all the British colonies in the Caribbean region after a number of civil and labour disturbances. Let's see what else we get. Do you see how many hits I'm getting for like magazines about the Caribbean and Caribbean history and Caribbean history journals? Isn't that fascinating? According to Simon, David Lammy doesn't know his own history. And David Lammy has to be told by Simon where his own parents come from. How fascinating. No points for this one. Simon moved on to talk about slavery. However, here's a few points. Here's the colony of Demira, Essequibo. This was created on the 28th of April, 1812, when the British combined the colonies of Demira and Escobar into the colony of Demira Escobar. They were officially ceded to Britain on 13th of the August, 1814. However, what's more interesting is they kept the traditional laws that they'd had under the Dutch. And if you look, on 18th of August 1833, there was a major slave rebellion involving more than 10,000 slaves in this area, which at that point had uh, was governed by Britain. How interesting. So it would appear there were plenty of slaves wandering about in there in 1823. Even, yes, slavery had been officially abolished, but there was a slavery value in that. Now let's go to Simon's other specialist subject, which was German history. Where well, he was talking about cults of personality in Nigel Farage. One can hardly imagine the German as National Socialist Party surviving the death of its founder in 1945. No, I can't, can't really imagine that because the founder of the German Nationalist uh, Socialist Party was this bloke, Anton Drexler, who died in on the 24th of February 1942. Hitler didn't found the Nazi Party. The NSDAP was founded by this chap. So that's um, no points there again, I'm afraid. Deary me, I mean, I mean you've, one wouldn't know what to make of it and wouldn't know... What kind of thinking is going on there with that kind of attempt at history? <laughs> Almost qualified to be a government minister at this point with that level of knowledge, I would say.